Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing. And today I have this Sofa Bayton X1 Universal All-in-One Smart Remote Control. Works with over 500,000 entertainment and smart home devices like satellite box, TV, soundbar, DVD player, Blu-ray, cable box, streaming box, sound system, even your Wi-Fi device such as Philip Hue. Support connectivity for ER, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz devices. It is compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant for voice control. You can create activities in the Sofa Bayton app to customize your own home experience. With backlight function, scroll wheel design, comfortable grip and with the Sofa Bayton hub to provide a powerful 360 degree signal. One device for all. Well, let's open the box and find out more about this product and how we can use it. Nice unboxing experience. And of course, inside we're going to find out the manual. If you want to read this, your choice. But stay with me, we're going to find out all about this product. Wow! <laughs> Great looking remote control. Let's see what else we have at the box. Sofa Bayton, advice and complaints. Okay, our friendly customer service team will work hard to put a smile back on your face. Thank you. So let's see one by one what we have at the box. Type A to Type C, 1.2 meters it is the cable, two cables. One it is for the hub and the other to charge your remote control. Because it has a Lee Polymer battery 1050 mAh and you need the power adapter to connect uh, your Type-C cable and charge this remote control, you need a 5 volt power adapter. Charging time it takes about 3 hours and it can last for more than 60 days. I like that, of course I will test it, see how long it will last. There is only one power adapter, 6 volt it says here, 2 amp, 10 watt power consumption, it is for the hub. You need to use your own power adapter, we have so many power adapters at the home, and you can even charge it from your PC, laptop or from your power bank. And included at the box we have an infrared blaster with 1TX and 2TX. There it is. And the cable length is about uh, 2 meters. And another 2 meters for the one. So many cables. <laughs> And here we have the hub, at the back we have the, this button, the Type-C connection, just plug it in here, use the power adapter and power on the device and we have uh, and the connection for the blaster first and the second. If your device is placed in an inaccessible corner or cabinet, it is recommended that you can use an ear blaster with the transmitter pointed at the device. So you can connect uh, with the two other ports that it says two and the other that it says one. Only the one blaster. Perfect. We have a silicon pad at the base. You can even mount it at the wall. LED indicator at the front and it looks uh, great, glossy, black. I'm sure it will fit uh, very well at my living room or at any other area you want. Now, moving on at the remote control. Oh, it is on. Okay. Wow, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Press any button, it will turn on. We can see here the battery capacity, 
and of course you can use uh, the other cable to charge this remote control the Type-C connection here at the bottom and I will use right now my power bank and we can see the icon is charging I like the animation Unplug Clear visible LCD display the scroll wheel design Wow, it is so smooth! I like it! The old remote control it feels very well at my palm Very friendly materials I like that Just scroll with the wheel Press Again scroll LCD sleep 15 seconds and you can go back with this button And again with a wheel you can adjust now, let's connect the hub and start uh, the pairing process with the remote control. We can see it is on green light, ready to connect. But first we need to run the sofa button up. X1, hello, set up a new hub, next. Press the button and hold for 3 seconds at the back, there is a button. And we can see the blue light is flashing. Next. There it is, Sofa Baton X1. And I need my Wi Fi network. Enter the password of your Wi Fi router. And done. Save! And that was all! <laughs> now, let's set up my first device, my TV, other device, you can choose infrared, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, infrared, learning, then you can choose a satellite box, TV, box, DVD, projector or sound system, searching, model it is LG, I have purchased this TV seven years ago. Command list, device information, power command and common commands. I can edit all that commands later. Next, you can rename the TV, choose a different icon, complete. The code base is downloading, please make sure that your Wi-Fi remains connected. Complete. Not configured. So let's see if it turns on. Syncing. Device. There it is at the remote control. We have the LG device. On. It's working. It's been estimated that at the end of July, 7,289 people in England. And off. <laughs> and I can do, of course, the same thing from the remote control. And we can see all the menu, scrolling with a wheel, very easy. <laughs> wow, so many. <laughs> and power, turns on. Operation, it could be that goes to their GP. And off. <laughs> now, add the power settings, power state. Turn off when not in use, or always on, or always on unless the off key is preset, or the original remote doesn't have a power button. Always on unless the off key is preset. Power command, only a power, separate power on and power off, separate. Turn on, available operation, you can add a command, or add a delay. Turn off the same in here. And complete. Then we have the source configuration. I need to switch input. Direct input switching or bring up the navigation menu or input tangling cycling. I will choose no need to switch input. 
and we can see here all the buttons, numbers, and here we can see what I can control from my smartphone, the TV. So we can see here we have the forward and the backward, but the pause resume button it doesn't work. What we can do? Edit, assign commands for X1 remote keys. And I need to choose that it is not configured. So many commands. This is for my remote control. Play. And that was all. And the same thing you can do for any other button at your remote control. Adjust all these buttons to have your own customized home experience. And again, edit. You can add repair commands. If something is not right, let's say you want the smart, edit, learn commands from the original remote. This way you can activate the learning smart command or filter instruction from cloud data. Press once. If it will work at your TV, it's working. Yes. And that's how you can fix any button that it doesn't work properly. And from the remote control, turn on the TV. Increasing the volume. Half of all payments, uh, which is the first time. Mute, unmute. Payments just made online here. So these are. No Changing channel. Settings, picture mode, full control of my TV, aspect ratio, the sound, all settings, I can adjust everything. Back. Netflix. Play. Mute, unmute. Back. Play again. Pause. Resume. Forward. Backward. Play. You can do all the functions. Choosing different languages. With this wheel, you can go at any settings. I like it. So easy to control my TV. And of course you can scroll, choose other settings, input HDMI 1 or 2, fast response, or 3. Input TV, mute, you can go at the settings, smart, so many things to choose and from the comfortable wheel, <laughs> I like it, <laughs> and mute. Volume up, down, nice. Now let's connect another device with the Bluetooth connectivity. I have this Smart MI box 
and with my smartphone, other device, Bluetooth, MI, complete. And again, uh, downloading from the database. Now I need to go at the MI box menu on the Bluetooth settings. Let's connect that on my TV. And from the MI remote control, remote and accessories, add accessory. There it is, sofa baton, pairing, pair. And that was all, pair it. And from the remote control, choose MI, that was all. <laughs> we can see, I can control the MI box. Scrolling at any menu. Adjusting the volume. Mute and mute. Open YouTube. Any app I want, like I have the original MI control. And of course again you can make the same adjustments like my TV, adjust all the buttons you want, everything. Home, back again. And of course uh, you can do that and with this uh, lovely and comfortable wheel. You can adjust any button to your needs. I like that. And of course the backlight. Add the keys, it looks great. It helps at low light. So if you want the remote control to control everything from one device with multiple functions, this is the right choice for you. LCD display, backlight at the keys, rechargeable, Type-C, and with a great design. I like the soft wheel, it is very comfortable. At the moment I didn't face any problems, of course I will keep using that on my TV and smart box, see how well it's working. Unfortunately I don't have any Wi-Fi compatible device at my home to check and the Wi-Fi mode, as we can see, it's only compatible with uh, Roku, Philips Hue and Sonos. More about this uh, remote control and where you can buy it, you can check uh, at the link down below in the description. Thank you for watching this long video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Until my next video, don't forget to subscribe, share the video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell, because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.